because we've got quite a lot of dead coat in here that we're trying to get out and we don't want to damage the coat, we're going to use some more TLC. So just spritz it on. It is a leave-in conditioner, so it's not going to harm the coat. It's just going to aid in getting out the dead hair. So next we start off with the really wide tooth comb. And we're literally just going to start by brushing in the direction of the hair. So um, again, often people forget about this first section and they go straight to the end. You really want to make sure that you're pushing it in and getting it right down to the skin and scooping out. So you typically will find it's easier to take in small sections um, at the beginning before you can actually line brush. And you can see here there's a, there's a knot. So all I'm doing when I come to the knots is I'm just pulling the hair apart from the base as close as possible to the base and then separating and then plucking out the dead hair. Because the dead hair is just wrapping itself around the good hair. So it's important to brush in this direction first because it's in line with the hair um, and it won't hurt the dog. Um, whereas if you were just to back brush, from this stage, it will pull on the hair and it will just really hurt the dog and they won't like it. So we're gonna find another section just to go through. So I've already been working on this, as I said, for about an hour or more. Um, and I'm just trying to find sections that I haven't quite completed. So I found a chunk that my comb won't get through. So come around here, very good boy. So what I'm gonna do is, and it's very, um, lubricated already with the TLC so I'm actually just going to pull this apart little bit by little bit from the outside because so it's not a, a visible knot it's just a big congestion of dead coat that's kind of wrapped itself around the good coat. I prefer to do this with my fingers because um, you get a better outcome than using a comb alone and you can actually as you're um, pulling your fingers along the hair you're pulling out any loose fibers that might be remaining so you just find it and separate it so this is more about um, you know just working in different sections until you can easily get that comb through you can see now easily getting it through the aim is to put the the teeth the teeth are slightly rounded at the end so they don't hurt the dog um, so we'll actually put it in and scrape it along the skin and then scoop outwards it's more effective to do that than to try and get say for example a whole uh, stride across you just have to and also it's much less uh, much more comfortable for the dog so see how I'm going along the back like this this is just so much easier and more pleasant for the dog 